Here. And Reister and Lawson are absent. All right. Um, do I have a motion to approve tonight's agenda? So moved. Second. Lori, did you motion? I did. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't tell the difference between the two. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve that? So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Chrissy, that was me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all those in favor then? Aye. Signify aye. by saying aye. Okay. Aye. Opposed? All right. Uh, Mayor's comments, uh, accommodations. I just want to welcome everybody to tonight's meeting. And so we might as well go ahead and move right in then to um, some oral presentations. We first have the National Guard Award. So Hello. I leave that to you. What do you do? Stand up? Or yeah, sure. Yeah, please. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, uh, my name is Don Schroyer, and I'm actually a live here in Hudson, and but I'm also a volunteer with uh, Employer Support of the Garden Reserves, and ESGR is also called. It was established in '72, and we are an office of the Department of Defense, and our primary goal is to to promote cooperation and understanding between men and women that serve in the National Guard and our reserves and their civilian employers, and. Casey thought, Casey thought enough about the sport he gets here that he nominated Sergeant Bursima yep. for the Patriotic Employer Award. And the Patriotic Employer Award recognizes deserving employers whose support and goodwill are critical in us being able to retain uh, the highly skilled and professional soldiers in the National Guard and Reserves. And Casey, would you like to say anything? Uh, yeah. Um, so. Um, I've only given or promoted this award once before. Uh, it was to my old police chief, Doug Frost, over in uh, Grundy Center. Um, but uh, Scott is in charge of scheduling. Uh, he's also in charge of making sure that everybody underneath him is in good mental health, uh, physical, everything like that. He's also, <laughs> he also has the stressors of making everybody happy, <laughs> so... What? Does that happen? <laughs> so, like, schedule-wise, um, whenever, <laughs> whenever I have a drill coming up or anything like that, he doesn't hesitate at all. He's like, all right, just give me it, I'll make it happen. Very flexible with me, even when... Um, I don't know if you know this, the military can be very chaotic um, oh, really? and switching, <laughs> switching drill dates, so I'll be like, it'll be like a week before it happens, I'm like, oh, <laughs> here we go, and um, he's been very flexible and very understanding, so um, I just really appreciate that, very thankful for that, that I don't have to worry about losing pay or uh, submitting vacation time if I don't have to. So um, I just really appreciate that. Right. And we also included a statement of support that you'll be able to keep and sign and date. And it basically says that you, you understand how important uh, the Guard and Reserves is in the national security of this country. And so it's my honor on behalf of the national, state and national ESGR and the Secretary of Defense to uh, present this to Sergeant Wurzema. And we already took a picture of it. Thank you. So if you guys are not aware, we actually have two National Guard soldiers on, on our force. So, okay. And I couldn't do it without the support of you guys, Chief Banks, and the support of my other officers who make it a little bit easier making schedules work. So. Thank you again. You bet. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, yes. Yeah. Definitely Thank appreciate your commitment to hands <coughs> off, too. So. I'm going to walk through Works Third Show so you guys better never see him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and also, I take the, the abuse from Sergeant Wears and all. I think that's just about making this <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Chief Banks, I believe you. Yeah. Um, this is first of my. I've never done this before, but I thought based on. 
you read the email, um, Christy read the email, and I believe it came from... Yeah, I mean, our... Amber? Amber. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it kind of touched my heart a little bit, and I figured this is something going for what I need to do as a leader for this department, and um, I don't get too emotional because I'm proud of my team. I am proud of you. Um, so... I'm not going to talk too much because it's kind of emotional for me because he did an awesome job on this call. And um, so back on January 18th, had a medical call up on uh, Ranch Cheryl. Um, the individual was um, basically not breathing at the time. So if you know, a majority of medical med calls were 99.9% .9 the first ones on scene. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's not a major 911 call. Sometimes, I think we got a letter, an email that the family was grateful that we were there just to be a support because I think in any kind of tragedy and you're by yourself, you want somebody there to mm -hmm. talk to because you're scared. Mm -hmm. I get it. So, um, so this is the first time, I don't know if it has in history, but it, since I've started here, I feel that um, Officer said it needs to be uh, rewarded for this. And I'll try my best to do more going forward. Um, like I said, we all do special things for the PD every day that you guys don't know about, especially medical calls that you don't read in the press release. Um, and outside medical calls, um, we, we gel very good together. We work great together. So I haven't opened it yet, so I will open it. The family, <coughs> um, they, they would would like to speak on behalf of officer. <laughs> so, Anel, if you want to join me. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of you. Um, Anel comes to work every day, positive. It smells very good because he puts a lot of cologne on. Um, he comes to my office smiling before he makes his pot of coffee. And he always has a positive attitude. I think mean, our whole department does. So um, I'll give it to you. You can read it. And then, uh, honestly, I would, I would like the family to give it to him. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So, yeah. so, so yeah. you guys are seeing me yet. So I'm going to face it towards you. Okay. I'm going to sit down and floor your guys. Okay. Um, <coughs> January 18th, 18th was just a, a normal day for you uh, coming into work. Um, but today, that day, you our mother's life and because of you she will get to see her grandkids graduate she will get to be at her granddaughter's wedding next year and um, we get our mother still so they made I, it very clear to us that had you not been their mom wouldn't be here and to just say thank you for giving a mom back a grandma back a sister a daughter like Thank you will never be enough. And we just so appreciate you. She gets to come home Thursday. So I'm, I'm <laughs> assuming that she Thanks. Yeah. I know. I we we were, were hoping she would get out of rehab before, but, <laughs> um, but when yeah. she gets out we will be checking it down. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> we missed it. Great <laughs> 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 yeah. Royal Turf, you this is where um, my yeah. mom works and we're there for them, not only for her, but for them too. Yes. 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 And I'll have you read it so the council can. Yeah. Um, so. Right, look at me. That's your bossy. Uh, Life Saving Award presented to Officer Anel Bushevich in recognition of your life saving actions at the scene of a medical call on January 18th, 2024, um, where you performed life saving CPR on A. Christie Jones. If it wasn't for your fast response, Jones wouldn't be here today. The family of Jones is forever grateful to you. That's in Police Department, January 18th, 2024. Thank you. Thank you all. I I really do. Yeah. 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 She's excited.
She is. She is. Mm -hmm. she, is. she told us today, she was like, memory's still a little off, but she's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tonight. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of questions, so. Yeah. 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 So she's very excited to meet you. And yeah. Yeah. When we can get her out, we will. We would love to meet her. Definitely. Yeah. Well, her, your mom came to, in the room. Do you yeah, I heard about that. She, yeah. she told me. <laughs> she told yeah. Me. yeah, she was like, I happened to see a neighbor I thought I knew, and I just went up there, and yep. I was like, oh. Josie goes, you're the one that saved your life. And they were all crying. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Well, I appreciate yep. that. Yeah. Um, like you. I said, I'm, I'm thankful beyond belief that she's okay. So, yeah, she is. She is doing amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all you do. No. Thank you. He doesn't want to let me say it. He doesn't want to let me say it. Not bad. Not sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. I will see you tomorrow morning. No. Maybe even better. See you again. We have one more um, public comment, and I want to introduce um, Camilla and Che. Yeah. You remember? Do you remember me from yeah. the library? That's right. Yeah. You and I. Yeah. And me. Yeah. Yes. Me. <laughs> I didn't remember the names, but yeah, totally. So my name is Camilla and Che, and thank you for giving me a couple of minutes. Um, I yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say he is a candidate for um, Black Hawk County Supervisor. That's right. Okay. Great. So I kind of I'm retiring from you and I at the end of this year. And, Me too in July. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> By already, December. Already did it. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, I'm half time right now. So um, and basically I've I've served on City Hall um, for, for eight years and I loved it. I love local government. You know, local self-governance, I think it's the most accountable at the local level. Um, and, um, um, so anyway, I'm, I'm excited. I've been involved in um, improving our food. I've worked with Randall's. I've worked with um, Hanson's before they even started their dairy marketing, direct marketing. So our whole center, my work has involved kind of building our local food economy. When I was on the city hall, uh, on the city council, we endured the floods of 2008. Mm -hmm. So I've been very involved in helping communities think about better floodplain management and not build in places that are in harm's way. Unfortunately, cities have not changed their ways since the flood of 2008. Very few communities are kind of paying attention to that. So that's kind of my, I have a lot of kind of experience in that dimension. I'm really, I want to learn. Uh, I've learned a lot when I was on the city hall in the city council. And I'm, I want to learn. So there's a primary in June. Uh, there are three seats open and quite a few people are running. Um, and um, I'm all ears. If you guys have issues that you think between the city and county um, that the county could be more collaborative with, with cities. I'm very interested in that. I've already heard from Cedar Falls and Waterloo about some things they wish the county was more receptive. So I'm, I'm just interested in that. So really, that's, that's all. Okay. all right. <laughs> and I have a few little flyers if you want. You know, I'll read it here. Yes, and, please. Yeah, yeah. So. So thanks for yeah. giving it up. Don't my vote, Daniel. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I mean, you had so many more serious announcements. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> much more it's important. <laughs> Here we go. So thank you, thank you so right. much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good guy. Okay. We'll move hey, on to <laughs> committee reports, admin personnel um, from February 26th. Um, I've got that. Um, we uh, first item was the un um, police union contract um, that was the wages were to be negotiated for fiscal year 2025 and 2026 um, and negotiated um, with the union rep and then went to the officers um, and we agreed on a four percent increase for each of those fiscal years 
Um, and so the committee moved to um, move, uh, recommend that to council, and that is on tonight's agenda. Um, next, um, Chrissy had met with uh, Blackhawk County Insurance about property insurance. Um, we thought originally it was going to be probably a 20% increase uh, due to property valuations and wage increases, but it turned out um, as of Friday when we got the final quote, it's only a 12% increase. Only. She already had only 12. Yeah, it's better she had, than what we thought. She had 15 budgeted, so we're we're all all good. Um, so the uh, committee then recommended the approval of that and to city council and we've got that on tonight's agenda on tonight's agenda so and we adjourned at um, 4 52. So. all right we'll move into the public hearing the public hearing for amendment on the annual budget for the fiscal year ending june 30th 2024. Um, i'll open that um, public hearing and do we have any written no any other comments Okay, we'll go ahead and close that public hearing. We'll move into um, general government, item A, discussion action to approve resolution 3183, a resolution approving an amendment of the annual budget for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2024. And this was for capital projects and um, it was that dollar amount of the $817,203. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Yeah. Roll call. All right, Wyatt. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Cook. Aye. All right, motion carries 3-0. Okay. Item B, discussion action to approve resolution 3184, a resolution for approval of the 20, um, 2024-2025 Police Department Union contract wages with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters for the city of Hudson. Should that include fiscal year? Um, is that a three-year contract? The so you're only doing wages for FY twenty four and FY twenty five. Right. So I can add FY. Okay. To you. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. so move. Second. Okay. That's the four percent increase. Correct for those two years. For those two fiscal years. Yes. Okay. Any discussion? Any other discussion? Roll call. Uh, Sewell. Aye. Wyatt. Aye. Cook. Aye. All right. Motion carries three zero. Okay, item C, discussion action to approve resolution 3185, a resolution for approval of insurance coverage proposal for the city of Hudson, Iowa. Um, and that is for, then the um, amount is 117,506, and that was that 12% increase. Mm -hmm. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, Any other discussion? Okay, roll call. Uh, Wyatt? Aye. Cook? Aye. Sewell? Aye. All right, motion carries 3-0. Okay. Item D, discussion action to approve resolution 3186, <coughs> a resolution setting public hearing for fiscal year 25 proposed property tax dollars for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2025. And this public hearing will then be um, held on March 25th at 5.30 p.m. So with the, I'll just explain that. Yeah. So with the new regulations and the new House File 718, um, for the proposed property tax um, public hearing, that is the only thing that can be on that agenda. So we open it, we open the meeting and the public hearing at 5.30, and then if there's no one that shows up, we sit here for 15 minutes, so until 5.45. And so then we close that, and then we wait for the regular meeting. So we need to be here. You need to be here at 5:30. Yep. <coughs> yes. And okay. On the 25th. Okay. Okay. And it'll be downstairs because yes. this will be uh, the council chamber will be under construction, so it will oh, be. Okay. Do we have to um, publicize that then? That we do. Yep, we do. It's this. It's part of the same. Um, yeah, we. The yeah, we still have to, Yeah, we still have to do the publication. No okay? different than. <coughs> Right. Do it. Okay. You got a table? Yep. Ken, if you want. Ken, tell me you need Where's the note? <laughs> so this, will this be something that will result in an increase in tax property taxes? No, it's just, it, all it is is a public hearing to show the proposed property tax that for the next fiscal year. Which we normally just do in a regular council meeting. We just now have to do it as a separate meeting. Yeah, so it, it took the place of the max levy. 
public hearing. Does it affect, and I don't care one way or the other, um, is, is it a separate meeting as far as pay-wise than for council? Do you know if we have to do that or not? I have no idea. I mean, it, it's a it's a separate meeting, so you would get paid twice. Yeah, yeah I would think you would. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, do remember, I'm going to be gone. Ah, oh, man, I have to do that one? You have to do that one. Then I want double pay. <laughs> and the other thing that this whole thing provided was a notice that goes out to the taxpayers with the proposed yep. levies. And so that should be coming out this week. Right. So that that's another reason why they kind of bifurcated it, was to give taxpayers the opportunity to see the proposed levy, I guess, provide more notice about what it is and what we're coming to the... So they get a separate notification? Yeah, you'll get a notification. So it's called Truth and Taxation. And so all of the taxing entities you'll get on, it, it, I don't know what, what it will look like, but we were told that it kind of looks like your property tax bill, but it'll have all of the proposed property taxes for the next fiscal year on it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's super interesting. Um, so, but like I said, that should be coming out this week. I think Daryl's coming back. Okay. Oh, that's gonna say. Oh, that's Zane. We should probably wait for him to vote anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't, I don't think we have a. Did we get a motion? Yes, right here. I don't think we did. I don't no, we haven't gotten one. I don't oh. think so. No, I'm sorry. I jumped in and just kind of wanted yeah. to explain yeah. it. Yeah, and that's fine. So that's my motion. I'd make, the, yep. I'd make the motion to, to set that so, public hearing. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. Any other further discussion? Roll call. Uh, Wyatt. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Cook. Aye. Three zero is the motion. Okay. There are any informational items in the packet. Um, reminder items, regularly scheduled meetings held at council chambers except for the library board and the upcoming changes then once we start the updates in here. So public works committee meeting um, will be March 13th at 7 a.m. still here. Um, Mayor's task force has been canceled. Personnel admin finance committee meeting. Um, it will be Monday, March 25th at 445 downstairs in the community center. And then the public safety meeting will be March 28th at 4 p.m. in the community center as well. Next council meetings will be Monday, March 25th and Monday, April 8th at um, well, 5.30 and 6.30 then the, on the 25th at the community center um, for, for both of those. And so do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we are adjourned.